I found out about the professor because I went to his surgery in the, with the NHS. I was uh, I was sent to the, to his surgery in Llantrisant, and during that consultation, I ended up speaking to Mohammed because the uh, uh, because the lens was so so complex, and we had a bit of a conversation about. Um, dealing with this with the NHS or actually going private and that's how I met him initially. So before I had the treatment um, there was a fairly big cataract in my right eye and a smaller one in the left eye. The right eye had um, fairly severe keratoconus. so in effect what that meant was I was pretty much seeing everything double, sometimes triple. Um, so if I was driving along a motorway and you were seeing signs above the road, I'd see three of them, not one. So, so it was incredibly difficult. And as my job is driving, um, driving orientated, that was incredibly difficult, um, which is why initially um, I, I went to see a doctor and then obviously got referred to the NHS. The treatment I had um, when, I, when I initially spoke to Mohammed, um, the, the condition of my right eye was so bad with astigmatism and keratoconus that um, he wasn't 100% sure what, what, what could be done in terms of treating it. Um, so, so it was incredibly difficult to, um, to, to make a decision on what would happen. Normally he'd be able to say, you will see this. Um, in this particular instance, he, he, he couldn't be 100% sure. So um, I had to have an, a, a, a quite a few checkups in terms of size of eye, size of problem, all this kind of stuff. And I know Mohammed had to do quite a lot of work uh, at home to, to come up with the right um, solution. It actually took four months to make the lens. His treatment was, was, was fantastic really because he couldn't, he had to be very honest with me in terms of what, what may or may not happen um, following the procedure. Um, and like I say, it took four months before I could actually have the operation from the time I originally saw him. The impact um, after having um, the treatment, so certainly having had the other, eye, uh, the other eye done as well, which was very soon after the first eye, uh, means that uh, it, it's basically changed my life. Um, so, so I'm 57 years old. Um, I have worn glasses since I was four. I've never driven without glasses. I now drive without glasses. You know, I, I, I now am able to, um, to see things, <laughs> basically. Uh, it's that simple. I couldn't see before, not properly. And I don't think you realize until you've had the operation done just how bad it was. Um, you kind of just get used to it. As things degrade slowly, you get used to it. This is just mind-blowingly um, different. It's incredible what's happened. So, so overall, the, the, the care of treatment and the, com the conversations that I had with Mohammed and with Vicky as PA and all of the, the details of actually getting this done uh, were first class. Um, I, if I needed to speak to him at any time, I could. If I needed to speak to Vicky at any time, I could. Um, um, I, I had absolutely nothing but, but, but you know, fulsome praise for the way that, that I was handled. And the aftercare was fantastic as well. Um, so once you've had the operation, um, you know, you then you can either get seen by Mohammed or your local uh, optician. I, I saw my optician because she knows Mohammed, and they kept in constant uh, contact. And, and you get regular calls just to make sure what, what, that you're okay and everything has gone gone well. So I, I, I can't I can't be my, my my praise can't be full enough. In fact, for the for the aftercare, in fact, for the full procedure. If anyone is considering having any kind of treatment on their eyes, um, my, my advice would be do it. Um, number one, and number two, um, it, you know, see Mohammed if you can. Um, I, I made the decision not to go down the NHS route because I wanted to see what I considered was the best consultant working probably in the UK. And yes, okay, you have to pay for that, but at the same time, um, it was absolutely worth it because, um, you know, your sight is really important and you can't really put a, I don't think you can put a financial, um, a financial price on, on, on your sight. So I would say do it.